okay, everybody agrees fiber is good for you. Maybe there's some carnivore people that don't. But in general, most people are on board with consuming more fiber. Can you tell us how does fiber help gut function and how does it also affect blood glucose control? Well, I think it, com it comes back to these things that we're talking about, which is that the, the critical part to me of fiber is it is not in the mouth and then out the derriere like a torpedo the way that we were raised to believe you know it's not this inert thing that literally has nothing other than it just kind of sweeps through fiber is metabolically active fiber is the food that feeds and nourishes the healthy microbes that live inside you this is the reason why fiber particularly soluble fiber and resistant starch is referred to as prebiotic because that feeds and energizes those microbes. And when you do that, they will, they will chow down and get into a feeding frenzy, and then they will grow stronger. And you will alter the balance in your microbiome to favor good guys. You will get more of these bacteria that I'm talking about, you bacteria, Roseburia, you will get more of them, and they will become even more efficient at producing short chain fatty acids. And when they make these short chain fatty acids, they go to work. They go to work immediately. These short chain fatty acids go to work, healing the colon, reversing intestinal permeability, lifting up the anti-inflammatory microbes, the good guys, directly suppressing the inflammatory microbes, directly suppressing things like salmonella and E. coli. All right, those are just the effects right there in the colon but they have effects throughout the entire body. They interact with um, receptors called the G protein coupled receptors. And these G protein coupled receptors are completely relevant to protection against type two diabetes and insulin resistance. And that's part of the mechanism by which they work. They also communicate with our immune system. Type one diabetes is an autoimmune condition. You need immune dysregulation in order to develop type one diabetes. And the way that short chain fatty acids protect you from type one diabetes is by interacting with your immune system, specifically activating T regulatory cells. T regulatory cells are the cells that basically get your immune system to chill, cool off, stop getting into a frenzy, stop going crazy, protect you from autoimmune disease like type one diabetes, but extending far beyond that extending to, to the full milieu, the full litany of autoimmune diseases that exist. These short-chain fatty acids cross the blood-brain barrier. They affect neurologic function, your memory, protect us from Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. They affect your heart, cardiac function. Um, they affect gene expression. They can uh, alter the... Um, something called histone D acetylases, they can inhibit those. They're called HDACs for short. They can inhibit these HDACs. And by inhibiting these HDACs, they can protect you from colon cancer. So they have these effects throughout the entire body. And there's only one way to get them. Consumption of fiber. Through the consumption of fiber, you can activate your microbiome and get the full benefit of the release of postbiotic short chain fatty acids. And I'm going to tell you right now that like there's all this hype about probiotics. People are starting to talk about prebiotics. And for the people who are listening to this program right now, I want you to know the entire point of prebiotics and probiotics is to get postbiotics. That's the entire point. So why not, why not get to it and activate your, the health that comes from your gut microbiota with fiber?